roll their way through now. You hook it up into third, up into fourth. Make your way up into uh, Sarl van der Merwe's sweep. And uh, hang that double right-hander down the back straight. They light the Q and up on the back wheel as he comes out at turn number four. Up in the air and he's uh, giving it a good run. That's an age-old uh, blade. He's done a little bit of trickery to it. Malcolm wraps it, has a look up on the inside. But Stamon is going to be stupid laid down into Pertamina Fostron corner. Hangs around there. And uh, they're pretty close, Byron. I've just taken out the first lap. You're welcome to do the next seven. Well, let me tell you one thing. It's a good clean start for a first race of the season there, Francois. Malcolm Rapson in second on the jigsaw. Up into fourth position there. Number 87, of course, on the quacker. He was running a Suzuki at Swat Corps uh, about a week ago. Yeah, Hilton really gets the uh, triple eight uh, Kawasaki as he sits there um, doing what he loves most. Uh, Hilton really gets an age old contender Kilani. He loves the place and he's going to give it his all. He's going to have a lot of fun chatting to uh, my man Tiny who does the radio for us saying that Hilton was saying coming out of turn five getting a lot of wheel spin. So maybe a little bit of suspension setting it to get that one right to get traction, get the power down on the back wheel as he comes out of turn number five. Once again, they're up into Sorrel sweep. And uh, all line stern, it looks like it's still Stamon at the sharp end of the stick. And he's on the back wheel and he is murdering it. Play down to turn five. Raps it pursuing. And look at Relegates right up behind David Endicott as they make their way down towards turn number five. They're on screen. You see them coming down. And uh, they grab a handful. They, with, with, they slide it in as they bring it into five and roll it around. Dipping it into the right hand side. Knee down on the tar. You bring it around. And then when you look again, you've got another left hand kink before you hit the main straight here under the uh, ring. To the that CBL 1000 is being absolutely murdered there by Stamon as he goes up into a turn of one. Hangs around there. It looks like Reading has got past Enticott, so Reading Ace moves up to third. Hilton to the Triple Eight ZX10 as they make their way now up the UBS straight into Quarry. Well, the fastest lap of the 112 for Kewen Snayman as he is now three tenths of a second when he crossed the line ahead of Malcolm Ramson. Just looking down the classes front for the 600 class, he's currently being led by Tristan Pinar, bike number 50, nine tenths of a second between himself and Slade van Nickak. Those two over there, then we have the uh, van Nickak, of course, Matthew van Nickak, that's in seventh overall at the moment. Brad Bodsworth on the Ducati currently leads uh, the uh, master section as far as as things are concerned. Wayne Orens is second in that class in 10th. They're being split by Jason Lineker on the Honda CBR 600. Well, you spoke about the Masters. We've got about Hilton Riedelgeist who's lying in third. He leads out over Brad Bosworth who lies in second place, but it's a common mistake. It's early season. We've still got to get into the swing of things as the bikes roll down into turn number five. They come out of five. It's still it's uh, Stamon leading out. He's got uh, Rapson who's looking there to close down the gap. But Stamon is going to run for its money down to turn number one. And uh, double front as he goes down into one, the foot is out, the is the down, hangs it nice and tight into that back end, and now it comes out up on the back wheel as he goes through the gearbox. The front wheel is about an inch off the front, and it's down again, the back end, as he goes into quarry corner, takes it nice and tight, hugs the curb there. The knee's almost on the curb stone as he rolls around, wraps it, can see in front of him, but he can't reach out and grab him closer. It's just that, like a little bit too much. But I can tell you something, Q and Stamon on 1000 is going to be nice to see. We don't have the likes of Trevor Westman out there who can go and mix it up with him. So I think it's going to be a great year for motorbikes. I think it will be, uh, Francois. Just a correction over there. Bodsworth leads the Superbike Challenge class. He is one of the Masters, of course, and he is third in the Masters class. Wayne Orens is second in the uh, Superbike Challenge in 10th position. But Q and Stamon, a 112, 483, getting faster and faster, winding that Honda up quite nicely over there as well. And six tenths of a second between himself and the fastest could count it on two wheels in South Africa, Malcolm Rapson. Rapson goes down there. He's chasing Stamon. They come out of uh, turn number five. Yeah, into the the main straight. Stamer still giving it full tip. Hugs the wall to get a bit of draft game. Yeah. Yeah. One. Yeah. That's exactly the same. And they've got a bit of, about a uh, 1.4 second gap. Yeah. He's now pulling away from into yeah. David would like to get a little bit closer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, killing that uh, ZX10 there. And uh, yeah. 
going behind any card are the two 600s of Tristan Pinar and Slade van Niekerk. Well, he's keeping that depth of the there, Francois. Nine tenths. He's opened up an extra tenth of a second over van Niekerk. Van Niekerk's going to have to push incredibly hard on that ZX6 to uh, catch that Yamaha ahead of him. That's 56 oh. Watching there a little bit further ahead of them. Seven tenths between Stamon and Rapson. Redling Ace, five seconds back, but still keeping it 1.8 ahead of David Enticott at this time. Yeah, lovely stuff. Uh, we've got five laps to go. They're uh, busy finishing their, f their um, fourth lap. Uh, Stamon makes his way down towards Pertamina Fastron. We look out of the commentary box down at that uh, stand at the bottom of the circuit. It is chock a block as the people are hungry for racing. Down into turn five. Stamon leads it in right. You've got that whole sort of horseshoe that comes back on you. And then you've got to flick it over to the left as you come out onto the main straight under the city of Cape Town Bridge. You're proudly sponsored by the way down the main straight into uh, turn number one. Malcolm Rapson, well, he's not there. He's just Stamon adding on to his time. He's pulling away from Rapson. Solid performance. Triple Eight ZX10 looking very comfortable. Yeah, Q and Stamos basically almost doubled. Actually, over doubled his lead from seven tenths to a full one and a half seconds over Rapson. Uh, further back, of course, is Vanikak is coming into his own now. He's closed up the gap by four tenths of a second in the 600 class to Tristan Pinar, but he's running out of time. There's now four laps left to go, including the one they're currently on from. Well, they look, uh, we're looking live out of the commentary box. Vanikak is right up behind Pinar. He's up on his tailgate now, looking down the uh, throat of that exhaust pipe that comes out the back, and he makes the way up into Sorrel van him have a sweep as the leaders make their way down towards turn number five. Um, there we see it goes one of the uh, ZX through. And uh, we wait for this pin on this funny cake right up behind him. So funny cake's putting in a charge now and uh, giving it a good, good clout. Matthew funny cake sits up behind him. Your leader comes through. Snayman. <laughs> Boom. Three laps to go. And he is giving it a <laughs> stomp. That foot out again. He's going to be going through the sole of that boot as it rubs in the tar down into it. It's actually the, the, the whole thing that people don't understand. They go to go around the corner. What they're doing is they go onto the front forks to get good grip and that foot sort of balances you it's almost like you're standing on the top but, you can't blink the miles, but it, it, it helps a lot so your your whole body weight goes onto that front wheel you get you get balance on the bike and then you sit and you go around so that's exactly what's happening for the people that are watching from home high speed swan lake as francois is giving to us over there definitely the dexterity of these riders is amazing as we are now three laps left to go including the one we are currently on at the moment still six tenths of a second between pinar and in the 600s class it's basically a foregone conclusion in the uh, looking at bodsworth though still leads the super bike challenge class ahead of harris and of course Arenta has uh, dropped a position into third in class 11th overall mccrill uh, in 12th position jamie hall and uh, quinton weening who we were speaking a lot about last year he's still well and truly all in this in fourth yeah. position two laps left to go francois stamon crosses the line yeah q and stamon is uh, yeah. hovering around the 112 7 112 8 category at the moment Hilton Redling Ace crosses the line behind him with Enticott. Now the two 600s are closing up on Enticott. He might not have enough laps left to go, but here we go. Over the line, Tristan Pino, safe and came right up behind him. The gap is half a second, half a second, and going down into turn number one. Uh, it looks like Slade for Nikak has closed up on Tristan Pinar. He's closing up. He comes out of turn number one, gets onto that ZX6's crank handle, and he's giving up. He's right up there behind Tristan Pinar. He's up towards the inside. Oh, man, the fight's on for the 600s. It's Pinar versus for Nikak. This one's going to go down to the wire. It will, Franz. Well, we got a lap and a bit left to go. Yeah, they come out of the kink now towards Interceptor. He'll close in ever so much there, Slade for Nikak. But watch them as they go now onto that Tigerberg straight. Watch out behind him. Seven tenths of a second back is Matthew van Niekerk. He's in the superbike class, not in the same class, but could find himself also fighting for that fifth position. They'll go down the back straight now, and then they'll just have a challenge, surely, into Pertubina Fastron. But as has now happens, we have Kieran Sneeman coming across the line on the Honda. He completes uh, his uh, penultimate lap. This is lap number nine. We wait for Rapson. Here he comes on the Chiksa. Suzuki. And uh, those will be our top two right there. All 14 that started are well and truly in this race still. Uh, great uh, ride coming out of Kieran Stamon as he goes up into the quarry corner. He's on the uh, fire blade. 
the uh, CBR 1000 R and uh, gives it a good tilt as he takes it through the king down towards the interceptor corner. Malcolm Rapson on the GSXR 1000 T1. He makes his way around. Um, Hilton Redlinger is doing fantastically well. Close the gap between himself and Malcolm Rapson, but uh, we're on the uh, penultimate lap here. And uh, no, but look at this. Slade for Nick X slides up on the inside of Tristan Pino and Quarry. A great maneuver there. The Quacker now leads out over the Yummy as they make their way through the King. You can bet your bottom dollar Pino is going to come straight back at him now. Into Interceptor Corner. They lean in right. It's hard up against the wall there as they work their way through up the Tiger Mid straight. Pino comes back, but Fenikak's up for the fight now as he makes his way up towards the side and over sweep. Into the sweep they go, having a look, see, yep, checkered flags waiting, so the 600s are going, but let's pick up on Q and Snayman as he makes his way to the line, checkered flag out, race number one, Q and Snayman does it on a Honda, and, uh, whoa, where's Malcolm Rapson? Welcome, Malcolm, checkered flags waiting, make your way to the line, have fun. And uh, he's looking pretty good in second. Hilton Riedlingais, as uh, ZZ Top would say, take charge, but he takes charge as he crosses the line. Behind him is David Endicott. Here comes the 600 battle up towards the line. It's going to be uh, Pinar behind him. It looks like a Slade Van Eke takes it on the 600 from Tristan Pinar. Basically one uh, one thousandth of a second between the two of them. Brilliant stuff as they make their way down there. Gave it a full tilt. They stop at the bottom of the straight. Oh, it was a valiant fight back there as well uh, from... Uh, Tristan Pinar, uh, Francois, what magnificent racing for this early start of our 10, 10 to 10. We're starting today, and it is the first of the Power Series for 2020. Welcome here to Kilani. If you're not yet Kilani, you're listening to us here uh, on the, the IMUSAT stream, please come down. It's going to be a scorcher today, and this is celebrating summer in Cape Town. But Snayman doing a mighty job there ahead of uh, Malcolm Rapson, and that's the uh, first of the races. Uh, that has been uh, run. We now will stay with the uh, bike races and of course it will be the uh, Clubman Classic Superbikes and Breakfast Run Motorcycles coming up shortly.